going on, folks? Hey, great one. You know, today I was going to do a video in response to a question that was uh, sent in by one of the viewers, and I'm going to get to that. Maybe the next video we'll get to that. But I was moved by a message, a message inside of me that I feel that I need to give you guys today. So I'm going to scrap the previous discussion that we're going to have. And it was going to be pretty good, too, because I think that this is all relative to narcissism, folks. When I talk about this and I talk about sensation, I've been, you know, taking some time out. I've been reflecting, doing a few things and working on some things. And I've been learning, folks, on a day to day basis. And for every day, I want to understand more about my purpose. So when I talk to you guys, I understand that the majority, the vast majority of you, you know, and not to pick on you, but this is reality, folks. I want you to understand that, you know, when there's reckoning, you know, there's reckoning. Meaning that all of the, the joys and comforts that are not really joys and comforts, the things and the acquisitions and all of the self-serving behaviors that make you feel good because you've been tricked on some level. You've been duped into understanding what, what, what real joy is about. Or, or satisfying some lower quality within yourselves. Which is why humankind has not advanced any further than what they have up to this point. Then from your standpoint, your ability to wage a war in a more effective, costly way or something. To you, that is technology. To me, that is foolery. Because what I understand, folks, in a, in a real advanced society, which, which there are billions and trillions in number, uncountable, folks, in the heavenly worlds. The places that you guys will, the best of you will move on in high vibration to. This is what this is all about. When I talk to you about these things, folks, it's important for those small number of people because I've realized it's so easy. You know, that oneness, getting into that oneness to God. A lot of you imagine that, you know, that it's very hard. But I will say this, is that dealing with darker energies are, is an easier scenario than dealing with the light, folks. And when I say that, I'm talking about in order for you to receive blessing from God, he is going to require some things of you. Notice how dark energy makes it very easy for you. And so your journey with dark energy takes you into a place of, it starts off in an easy place and ends in the worst, hardest way possible. Versus with God, folks, with his higher end of his aspect, folks, the abundance. You reach in, you seek that, and you start off with the test and all of the things and the, the lessons and the knowledge that you're given, and you're sorting through these things. But then you achieve, in the end, the greatest abundance forever and ever, folks. So you're shortchanged when you're given something that's trivial that you could have anyway. Right. What is something material? Because your value in something material is, is is connected to you. It's extensional. And then notice how the narcissist does the same thing, folks, that mindset, the demoniac, rather in society. He's the plaguer of society, folks, in all ways. He's a suppressor. Right. And you're in each way because you're done this disservice. You turn to your fellow man and you you treat them within the same regard and you reason that this is acceptable because this is just the way it is. So I need you to understand that the reckoning is just the way it will be, folks. You understand? You're, 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 you're man and women enough to, to deal with this on this level at this current point. Right? But I want you to stand on that to the very end, folks. Don't cry out to God and, to, and reason to God and cry and tell him that you're willing to do and be in his service when you've never were willing to, and you scoffed at, at the idea of him being in his service, when he is your breath of life. The great ones who, who are present before you folks, who are making your air, the duties that they do in devotion to the Most High. This is the lesson that humanity could learn, folks, to raise us to that elevation, the higher elevation. So yeah, it's so easy. It's easy 
when you're dealing with dark energy because dark energy makes it very easy for you. But then it becomes more and more difficult as you get into something you realize that you didn't bargain for. And you're always dealing with a deceiver when you're dealing with lower energy. And that's why I always take you back to that magical board where we talk about attributes, folks. See, it proves and shows itself for what it is. If you're looking around, if you're trying to figure out who is this person and who is this demoniac, who is this narcissist, who is this person that's plaguing us, right? And you look to your neighbor and you reason that it can't be this person with the smiling face, right? But I want you guys to understand that this is about energy. This is about things that are in your inner. The person who vibrates on a lower level is unable by default. And this is why there's a trouble amongst you folks. Because they have gotten you to follow them into these spaces. The best of you with the vibration are giving up your vibration and your higher energy. That ability to reach out and oneness to the most high folks. This is a really big thing. This is what this is all about. If you think that this is all there is, which you are fools if you believe such things, right? Then you're, you're already damned. So I hear people and I look at social media. I took set back this week and I learned many lessons. Many great lessons. And I understand some things. I understand that you guys, you know, you reason yourselves and your science and, and your capability, you're limited, like I start off with saying. Your ability to, to, you know, track somebody or something, some foolishness. You reason this is technology. When there's abundance in higher technology, folks, that higher technology is always relative to the most high. Because he is holding all life and all things, folks. It's important for you to get this. So, yeah, I started off because I wanted to talk about you know, I wanted to uh, address one of the viewers. And like I said, we'll get to that. But I was inspired for a bigger a bigger purpose, folks, today. A bigger message is what you need to get today. Oneness. Right? When I talk about love and oneness and trust in, in the most high. And how I, I come to realize this. And the greatness of my, of my mentorship, folks. And so I'm going to tell you guys another story. Because I know you like these stories. But once upon a time, an enlightened man found himself once again in the company of the great ones. And as he sat in the heavens, you know, he looked out on the world society. and He had a, a great vantage point that was given to him and provided to him for him to see. And he looked at all of the fools in the world in their various ways, in their, in their wagings of war, in their in their deep lust, in their coveting, and all of the distorted ideas that man has captured, right, that he believes will propel him into the highness because he believes that he sets the standard for highness. See? But he doesn't. So as he looks at this landscape, he's shown all of these different events. He's shown different things. And he sees this particular event where he sees there's some type of Maybe a sporting event or something, some athletic event, and there's someone, and they're and they're they're doing, you know, really supernatural things on that field. They're running or they're moving in such a way that everyone is applauding, right, and cheering, right, because because they're doing something that's that's just beyond human capability, right. And so this person is put on a pedestal and applauded. And everyone is cheering this person. This person covets and never at once gives thanks to the most high. Never once reasons that there is something higher than them that has blessed them with these attributes. The average person who is an ego. And so because he's actually bearing witness to the actual landscape being the great ones themselves. As this person runs in the hands of Mother Earth. And he sees this. And he sees this person take all of this glory and not once give praise or understand that the, the, the will or ability to move in that space of air, to run that fast, right? If you're blessed, you accommodated, folks. You're being assisted on all levels. But this person could not reason that. So as he turned to the great ones, he looked at the great son 
And he knew why man had had put himself in a place that he's currently at. He knew how this came to be because man has an ego. The one thing, right, that one emotion that humankind has that does not allow, allow man to see his oneness in relative to all things, folks, which are being held by the Most High. So as he sits in meditation to God and he, he thanks God, right, for everything in the presence of the great ones whom are also in thanks to the Most High for everything in this oneness and they're meditating on the Most High. And for a moment, the enlightened man feels the presence of the Most High, his hand on him. And he knows that the Most High is present and the Most High manifests in presence. And he can feel the presence of God. And it is so powerfully overwhelming, folks, that the man is brought to great tears because he knows that he's nothing. And he knows that to be sitting in the presence of the great ones themselves, who are the caretakers of the material reality he's living in then obviously he is in great blessing has always been in great blessing by the Most High. So he cried because he, he reasoned, my Lord, I'm nothing. I'm just a speck of dust at your feet, but I'm in service to you with all my heart, Lord. And he understood that the intentions in that person's heart, because, because the Most High is all things, folks, at all times, no matter if you are the size of a grain of sand or as, as large as a, a consciousness itself. You are in his great hands, folks, and he is everything, folks. So his love and, and abundance of uh, I mean, his impartial love to you guys. The abundance of that love is what I'm saying. Will always be available to you, folks. But when you live in your egos. And you reason that you can do this externally on your own means. And that you yourselves have higher achievement than the status of the most high. Who is the most high, folks? That's why I talk about it. He's my breath of life and it's in fact. So he cries out to God. And the most high hears him and touches him. And appears. And in, the, in that company of moment, he's blessed because he's before the great sun and the great moon and the great earth herself. And he's singing out to the Most High. And the Most High hears him and he knows, folks. And he's just a speck of dust. But the Most High still hears him, folks. He is so great that he hears all things, folks. So he understands that man is limited by that ego. That inability to understand that the Most High can always provide him the blessings that he's seeking. His conquest, his going out into other places and other worlds. His wars. His suppression of his fellow man who looks like him. But you realize that when you talk about energies, folks, and you understand that there's a bigger fight, you realize that higher energy is always dealing with lower energy. And you are always in the middle ground to be rescued, folks. This is a fact. So you hold on to God by calling out to God as much as you can. When, you're, when you feel energies that come around you and that are attracted to you. Just as I speak, I have, I have people starting to gather. Not far from me and just staying, you know, with their backs and close by. And I'm trying to show you folks that lower energy will not prevail in this thing going forward, right? There are no ice packs for a, a punch in the mouth from the most half folks. You understand me? So I laugh, right? I laugh at lower energy. I want you guys to Remember that the most high is greater. And this is the, the point I'm making. I'll wrap this video up since I have a to deal with some dark energy or something. And no problem. <laughs> we'll take care of this. You folks, the best of you. I'm talking to the best of you. Right? And see, look at that. 
They're getting on. All of them are scattering all of a sudden. Isn't that interesting? Thank you, God, for everything, Lord. I want you guys to uh, understand and appreciate that the Most High has a plan for you, for those in high vibration. And the bigger fight is about those people who really are hiding amongst us, which I started with and I got all over the place, but who are hiding amongst us who are really in lower vibration and they're incapable by default of being anything else. And the troubling thing is when they lead you guys in a space or get you in a conscious place where you're giving up your higher vibration, that thing that gives you higher abundance to the most high is what I'm saying. So the enlightened man learned that even in his smallness, even in his speck of grayness, the intention of love in his heart and great honor and, and praise for the most high because the most high is his life and the life of all things that make all things equal is what the man learned. And so he goes back into the world and sees the same foolishness on a daily basis. The same idiots, the same people, the same demoniacs. But he understands that there's a bigger fight to be had. Right? The wake up. Only the wake up. Not, not the bigger fight because the, the, the Lord himself will deal with that end of it. My job and purpose is only to wake up those in high vibration who will be on this other end of it. The majority of you will we'll see a day of reckoning just for decisions that you've made and the, the vibrational level that you have yourself decided to hold. So when it's time to technically move on to something greater, folks, you're not capable of holding that vibration. This is what this is all about. It's his science, folks. It's God's science. But if you don't know his science, you will never know him is what I keep trying to get you guys to understand. This is your connection to the most high, folks. Okay? This is about how you reason with yourself about what you want to be and how you want to vibrate. And this is how you know who you are. Right? The best of you will know when you're in high vibration because you'll know. The worst of you will know that you're in lower vibration because we will know. And we will see you by your acts and what you do. Because you're incapable of doing anything else. Just keep that in mind, folks. The most high always wins, folks. The most high is supreme. You understand? I love bad behavior, folks. But the bad behavior, right, that I'm posing is, is, is not enough. Well, me posing it, I'll say rather, is not enough to get you guys to really feel bad. And that shows where your vibrational level actually resonates, folks. You have drunk the Kool-Aid so much that you're drunk on that Kool-Aid. It's part of you. It's what you are. It's what you become. And when it's time to be done away with all of that product of evil in that system, folks, you will go along and be cast with the trash. You understand? You know, it's not important right now, like I said, until, until it, it is. And you'll understand, folks. You folks going over to my website, thinkbehavior.info, pick up my book, I Love Bad Behavior. You pick the book up on Amazon. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate the new subscriptions this week. And um, I do enjoy your comments. And like I said, I will be following this up with another video. Uh, maybe today. Uh, depends on if I can finish. Uh, I got to take care of some things. But if I can get that done, I'll probably follow the video up today. But maybe very soon we'll follow that video up. And I appreciate you, kind viewer, for your, um, your, your kind question i guess i mean because you gave me your support and i appreciate it and um i'm going to answer those questions so you guys have a great day take care enjoy your day